don't like the idea of somebody running around Russia launching missiles without telling me first. Yes, sir. We swung. We missed. We missed? He missed, to be precise. Two years of drills, two years of training, two years of waiting for the exact perfect moment to take Popolovsky out. He shows up on our doorstep, and we missed? We built this country with our sweat and our blood. We built this administration with our influence and guile. And we built this war with our pride and our greed. If Kennedy moves missiles back into Turkey, we will have nuclear war within 72 hours. Daniels is our priority. We find him. We take Popolovsky out. We stop this from escalating. Your boys and my boys play different games, John. Does KGB know about this? No. What do you need? I need a team. Six from Russia, ready to make a discretionary strike at my command. I'll make the call. I need to run this up the chain. John, there are things I do for you that even you don't want to know about. Freedom. Me too. That's why I trust you. Let's get back to work. You played Khrushchev and Kennedy. You have worked day and night bringing them to this boiling point. The Bay of Pigs, the missile crisis, now Alexei Popolovsky and Timothy Daniels, and tomorrow, finally, you will bring the world to an end. Did you think I wouldn't notice your signature? All right, every mole in the USSR is about to find out about Popolovsky's fail safe. And when they do, Khrushchev is going to shut it down so fast, we won't have time to blink. But if we kill Popolovsky before his abort codes change, we end the Cold War. I need to know where Daniels is now. His signal just went online. Sir, Khrushchev found out about the missiles. Turn off your recorder. I have a proposal. Your industries are suffering. The Eastern drought, the missile gap. I can give you everything we have. Alison Gray. <laughs> I suppose the world's more desperate than I thought. Recognize that irritating voice? Are they letting anyone onto these things these days? Uh, I read your article. Oh, I wasn't aware you could read. Megalodon, deep dive defense. Terribly flawed piece of research, if you ask me, but you did make some good points. Had the Navy bothered to read it. Maybe those unicorn teams wouldn't have been sacrificed in vain. Listen. Excuse me. Parthenogenesis, would you not concur, John? No, I would not. Parthenogenesis has only been observed in four species of shark, always smaller animals, and always in captivity. Are you happy? You've got blood on your hands, as much as the megalodon. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Allison. Of course, Admiral, the shark is gorging. Look at the victims, it's no coincidence. A trawler, a fishing vessel, and now this. It's the first signs of the shark's pubescence. It will only get larger and more aggressive as it matures. And Your research is highly inconclusive and only based on small scale models. Yes. And to build a device that would contain a mega shark would take what, a year? And that's Six only, months. That's only if it works. Access denied. Weapons acting. Target is Mega Shark. What have we done? Oh my God! Hey, there she is. 
she is. Yeah, we're waiting for you. Gentlemen, ma'am, I stand before you at this moment not as your superior officer, but as a fellow member of the human race. Don't start crying now. I'll keep this short. It's an important day for all of us, but especially for the 924 colonists that we are transporting. Let's get them to DX-73 safe and get home. You still with us? Oh. Have you gotten back in touch with ground control yet, Lieutenant? Not yet. I'll let you handle that. I'll make the confirmation call back to Earth and let them know that we arrived safely. Earth? Earth? Our home? DX-73 is our home, Lieutenant. I don't know what Earth is. <laughs> Come on, you're messing with me. Lieutenant? Officer Fremont failed to take her suppressant like she was supposed to. This capsule is for your safety. It negates the effect of FTL travel. You made the journey exposed. FTL travel has a detrimental effect on the mind. It causes hallucinations, dementia, confusion. This explains your Earth fantasy. No, no, don't do it! Come on. That's it. There you go, Lieutenant. I'm gonna have you back on course in no time. Damn it. Layla, you don't have to do this. You should start a life with someone that will make you happy. You make me happy. You were the only person who was ever good to me, John. Hey. Is everything all right? He's here even when he isn't. I can't get away from him. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, it's all right. It's all right. How did you find us, Sombre? You ain't that hard to find. You just gotta know who to ask. They think it's all my fault. They don't realize it's always been her, not me. It's all her. Okay. Angel, you can't let them get to you. The commies. They're trying to get to you through the radio and the television. I know, I know that they're, 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 they're trying to get to me too. I hear them all the time. I, I know, I know. But you can't let them get to you. The, call me pinkos. They just wanted to keep me away from you and from what I needed to do.